Hi, my name is Amy Barrett Daffin, and I am here at H and H with CNT Publishing, and I want to show you our newest product. We are so excited about it. It is the Quilt Genius Design Toolkit. So, what makes this so exciting? Well, one, you open it up, and it is a great big folder, and in it we've got a set of instructions. So you can see all the information here and we walk you through how to use it and give you lots of good information. But here is where it gets exciting. So we have five templates in here and the first template, you lay it down and you've got the quilt layout and you mark from baby to king size what your quilt is going to be. And then you take out your stencils and you start drawing. So let me show you a couple things that make this really interesting and fun. And the thing I really want to encourage you is that, you know what, at the end of a long day where you spend a lot of time on your computer, being able to sit and relax and just draw and sketch versus actually working on a computer to design something, this is just a great tool to use. So the first thing I want to show you is you get three different graph papers. So you get quarter inch square, you get the diagonal, which is on point, and then you also get, which I started drawing on, isometric paper. And the great thing about the isometric is we have templates just for that. So you can see here, I started sketching out a star, and there's all sorts of different things. If you like to do hexagons, this is the paper for you. So what can you do with this tool, with these four templates and the graph paper? So you can, I have a whole stack of things you can do. So if you've ever purchased one of our Quilt Builder card decks, the great thing is you've got the cards here. So I decided to take three of the blocks and make a sampler. So I made a sampler for Lauren and Chris, and it's got a 36 inch block in the middle, 12 inch block, 12 inch block. So using this, I was able to get all the measurements and just sketch out the colorway that I wanted and just, you know, how I wanted it to be. It gives you some space up here to write some information down. And the grid is each quarter inch is four inches. So that was one project I did. The first thing I did, because I got it in the mail and I was like, what could I do? Is I drew a quilt for my nephew. And I thought, well, I want to make him this quilt so I sketched it out and he studied math. So I wanted it to have a cool math feel to it. And then once I sketched it, I looked at it and I thought, okay, I can divide all this into half square triangles. So I know with a half square triangle, these are um, eight inch squares. So I know I add four, seven or seven eighths of an inch to every uh, one. And I'm gonna have perfect blocks every time. So I just broke it out. And then I could make a list of everything I needed to do for my quilt. And like this, I'm gonna applique circle, the circle on. So what else can you do? Um, the woman, uh, Betsy Lahanta, who designed this, said, I, I see things in magazines all the time and I wanna turn it into a quilt. So she saw this great pillow and so this was her design. So she started just designing what could she do with that on a quilt. So it's just a lot of fun. She had some leftover pineapple blocks. She thought, what can I do with those? So she sketched out a, a design that she could do with the pineapple block. So say that you have a favorite block, but you wanna see how it's gonna work in the repeat. So she took the sunshine and shadow block and look at these two completely different quilts she designed just using one block. So that's really, you know, what can you discover when you repeat a quilt block? And then the last one I want to show you is I said to her, okay, design me a block and then show me how you would use it. So this was her first version. And then she was like, oh, I need something a little more interesting. So then she did this one and then here's the repeat. And so if you think about, you know, if you're going to do a four block, this is a four, four block quilt, you know, you could add sashing, you could add some more half square triangles around it, or you could make it bigger and you'll get a different pattern. But the great thing is, it's your design. So it's something unique to you. So what I would suggest is get the Quilt Genius Design Toolkit and start playing. Unplug, 
get your colored pencils out and just start drawing. Thank you so much.